Oh, nice, a paved road. It's been so long. It's being overgrown by the uh, by the prosopis down there, or by the miski. Look at this fucking agave. Who knows which one this is? It doesn't look anything at all like the one that was uh, up top in a cloud forest there. There's those uh, leaf margins. Very narrow leaf blades on it. Who knows what the agave are doing on the island? Look at that beautiful uh, outcrop right there. You can see them in full flower up top. Got all excited. I saw this composite dangling off the wall over here. I thought it was uh, an endemic, but it's just uh, just your normal invasive composite. Tridex procumbens. See that guy? Tiny ligules. There's the leaves. Fucking Tridex. First time I ever saw this plant was outside the Hong Kong airport. You know, pre-COVID. This. My first guess would be Malvaceae. Check out that flower. Stamens in a ring around a center. Look at the leaf texture. Look at that. Look at that. Certainly looks malvacious with those uh, sepals, those buds. Fucking oxidized limestone. Got a different texture. Looks like it's been cooked a little bit. A nice cave. Nice cave and a limestone right down there. So this species up there, you see those undulating uh, ribs? That's, uh, that's your Dendrocereus undulatus, which I've been confusing up until yesterday with a uh, species that looks very similar to it in a genus Leptocereus. You can see a much narrower trunk though. But uh, you know, I mean once you see, once you you know, seen both of them in person, you can tell they're different, but uh, you know, just growing right on a, right on a fucking limestone. Looks like a little elephant foot. You hear that sound? It sounds like uh, Sounds like somebody set off a burglar alarm, except them in the middle of nowhere. God, don't you love subtropical dry scrub? There you go. Dendrocereus sungulosus. Got a much more narrow form to it. And of course, those, uh, see the undulating uh, margins to those ribs? Got quite a few of them here. You know, I, you try to find flowers, pictures of flowers online. You know, you have no luck. Again, there's two species in the genus Dendrocereus. One on Cuba, one here. The Leptocereus tend to get a lot stockier, at least as I've seen them, you know. But look, here's a seedling. Look at that. There's the, there's the root. Can't fully penetrate the limestone, just grows on top. There's a seedling right there. CaribbeanCactusDiversity.com Oh, that's nice. Right next to the plumeria. You like thorn forests, huh? Holy shit. What is this? Let's check this guy out. I love me a good succulent trunk. Look, you got the Talanzi Recrovata up there, the Balmas. Of course, it's the dry season, no leaves yet. Starts supposed to start raining in March. I mean, good rain, you know. Look, he's just got those, those that one spine per aerial. Get your consulee, of course. There you go, Dendro Sirius, everybody. Dendro Sirius. And your Pelosa Sirius over there. Here's that. I believe that said a, a punch of Taylor Eye. It could also be just a young consulee. Look at this. You got your fucking vanilla. You got a vanilla orchid. Where's he going to the ground? I'd love to see this one of flowers. Look at that, those, those roots, those uh, epiphytic roots just attached to the bark of the tree.
And a fruit, when it matures, is like a little red pod with a gelatinous mixture in it. And then the seeds, there's just, you know, thousands of seeds in that gelatinous mixture. Tiny seeds. And that gelatinous stuff probably helps it adhere to, uh, I, I believe they germinate terrestrially and then they become, you know, epiphytic as they, as they grow. Got your harissi over there. What a wonderful forest. Hot as balls. Gorgeous. Just got stung by those yellow jackets right there. Just bumped their nest. Fucking leg feels like it's on fire. I'm sure I'll be fine. Look, they got their little nest under a punch of Taylor Eye. You know, I've never been one to break into uh, anaphylactic shock. Uh, but just in case, luckily the EpiPens are uh, pretty cheap. You know, they just stung me once and then let go. Just said, get away from me. Fucking mean, though. Leg does feel like it's on fire. Look, there's the trunk on that Dendro series. You can see still got some spines on there. Still got some residual spines, but it's very narrow. These have a much more narrow habit than that uh, Lepto series. That's a goddamn cactus. I'm surprised they don't they don't grow these in Florida. No one's no one's collected any for the horticultural industry. You know, horticulture is one of the most important ways to conserve plants. Okay, at least at least get them in a botanic garden. You know, but people get proprietary about shit, and then of course, you know, you'd of course get poachers saying that they're preserving stuff when in reality they're just preserving shit or just collecting shit poaching shit to sell it see look that's not the same agave not the same agave that i've seen up in a cloud forest totally different who's working on it and this might be another species of uh, pelosa series too but you know without flowers it's hard to tell oh no this is steno series fimbriatus excuse me but that pelosa series says here there you go Massive bastard, 20 foot tall Pelosa series, because it's so Pelosa up top. Do you see that? Oh, it's got a fruit up there, little red fruits. Do you see them? Little skinks and lizards crawling around in, the br in a brush, in a thorn scrub brush. Beautiful dendro series, beautiful. Look at this. I bet this isn't a seedling. I bet it just, uh, yeah, look, it just it just looks like it rooted from a, a pad that fell off. They clone pretty easily, I guess. They should be growing these in uh, the towns and cities around here. You know, just snip off a pad, root it. Doesn't hurt the plant. Incredible. Incredible goddamn cactus. Look at all the telangia up on that, uh, that tree. At the dry deciduous uh, tree, whatever the shit that might be. You know, I can't even guess. It's got no leaves, got no fruits, got no flowers. I sure do love the Dendro series, though. Look, there's another one just sending up shoots. God, that, my fucking leg is really killing me from where those, uh, from where those uh, wasps stung me. They're pretty wasp, though. Quite gorgeous. You get yourself an EpiPen. It's getting windy. Okay, let's continue on down the road. Dendro serious, everybody. The karst. The limestone karst. Look at it. Just just dangling. Huh? Like some sausage links hanging from a windowsill. Okay, you're hanging from a rack, you know? Hanging from a, a pipe going across the ceiling. Just dangling down, get a mean enough wind, blows them right off, they fall down, and like uh, like their cousins, the Choya, they just uh, make new ones. They just root readily. The pads just root readily, send up shoots, and boom, you got new, uh, you got new Dendro series. Hotdanglyballs.com, look at that. You got more back there too. I wonder how often I actually produce fruit. I want to. I want to see a picture of a fruit. To do that, you'd have to get them in cultivation. 
want to see a picture of a flower and a fruit. But I'd assume most of them are all the same clone because this seems to be their main way that they uh, reproduce. You know, those sausage links just drop down and uh, root into the ground, send up shoots, form new ones. I just saw some little uh, cat-sized critter on the road, too. It looked like a mongoose. Could have been one of those rare, uh, what is it, a, a selenodon? One of those weird uh, basal lineages of mammal. But I thought they were higher up. They might be down here in the dry forest, though, too. I don't know. Really weird-looking bastards. They got venom. Look them up. Anyway, so see what I was telling you about that consolia? It's coevolution with the extinct megafauna. See, those pads got no spines. But down here, you just coat it in, in bristle-like spines. Some of them, you know, nearly a foot, foot long. Long as spines, okay? But above a certain height, like say the, the height at which a grazing, a large grazing mammal could no longer reach them, the spines disappear. Oh shit, look at that guy. You see that fucking hummingbird? Oh my god. Oh, he's up there now. Okay, we got evidence that the hummers help pollinate the consolia. Anyway, who knows what species of a megafauna there were? You'd have to go by fossils, you know, but the one thing is for sure, they were made extinct probably by humans about five or 6,000 years ago. They went extinct on the mainland of North America prior to that, but uh, they, they hung on here on the islands of the Antilles, and once uh, humans made their way over here, Supposedly five or six thousand years ago. That's when uh, the indigenous people that the animal made here Then they uh, they hunted them to extinction. Who knows what else happened though, huh? Could, could be a number of things. Anyway, there you go a testament to the extinct megafauna of the past Okay, one last thing and I'll shut the fuck up This just occurred to me notice that some of the flowers on a consolia are orange and some are red not to be an effective uh, To be effectively pollinated by hummingbirds. You're gonna have a lot more success uh, with producing red flowers. So could it be that the hummingbirds are acting as a selective pressure on, a, on this species of cactus? You know, maybe, uh, who knows what pollinated before, but could it be that the hummingbirds are selecting for, for the, the uh, alleles that produce red flowers over the alleles that produce orange flowers? And so, you know, give it another, uh, you know, 10, 20, 50,000 years, and assuming humans don't fuck everything up and develop and cause, you know, extinctions of the pollinators or the plants themselves, would this plant eventually evolve to just produce solely red flowers? And maybe the morphology of the flower would change too? Who knows? Interesting shit to think about though. A lot of, lot of plants co-evolve with hummingbirds. You could see in the morphology of their flowers. Who's that I see walking in these woods? Look at that. Sorry, I had to take the stabilization off to get a photo of this guy to get close up. Look, he's lurking. Oh, you're so cute. Are you are you eating the consolia fruits? What else are you eating? You eat some bugs over there? You ever been to Julasco before? You're about the size of a cat. No, no, come on. I'm sorry, man. Come here. Come here. God damn it. Oh, you're so cute. Look at him waddle. Look at his little ass. Endangered, endangered iguanas. You know, for a minute I thought somebody was burning trash, but now it just seems like uh, you got a slow smoldering fire that uh, perhaps was started by accident. By someone throwing a cigarette butt off the side of the road. That's nice. Humans doing what humans do. Just <laughs> fucking, you know. Oh yeah, there's no uh, no garbage in that fire. That's all. Uh, it's all. Uh, it's all the forest. Oof. Well, I doubt it's gonna be put out. Ooh, the harissia is up in that tree. Though, look at that. Looks like an agave bloom. Oh no, that's a Selena cereus. Oh shit. Well, it doesn't seem like it's moving too fast. It's like it came through here already. Didn't spread too far. Fuck. Look at this. What's this uh what's this fabacious bastard? Almost looks like an erythrina. Red coral beans. Look at they got black on them. Little black widow seeds. Oh yeah, it looks like Selena serious. See only got uh, only got three ribs to it. Beautiful epiphytic cactus. Real stunner when it blooms. Uh, holy shit. 
It said it's kind of a fall if you fall down there. Subtropical environments, you get the uh, iron-rich, oxidizing iron. The lateritic shit, you know? The you like the lateritic shit? You like the hot shit? Lateritic soils. But you can see, it looks like there might be some limestone in there, too. Limestone or gypsum. You know, the origin is a marine. Marine set of marine sedimentary origin. Look at that, though. And it seems to be natural. The cal the calotropus is uh, having a field day on a giant milkweed down there. You know, I thought maybe this was a quarry or something, but I I don't see any evidence of that. Could be. It's beautiful though. Kind of pretty, huh? Look at the spires. It almost looks self dramatic. You could see that looks like limestone. Certainly limestone over there. But then you get the uh, oxidizing iron. Always get the laterites in the uh, subtropical environments. Tropical and subtropical. You know, during the Eocene, uh, some laterites were formed in North America, you know, over there by Ioni, California. You know, but that's uh, some Nazis over there. It's a uh, it's Nazi country. I mean, I don't think they'd refer to themselves as that, but I would. Look at that cute little bastard just hanging out up there. Look, he's just lurking in this uh, dried deciduous uh, forest. Just hanging out. I fucking love hummingbirds, you know. You gotta hang out feeders for... Oh, sorry. Well, maybe he's, you know, he's pissed off. Maybe he's chasing somebody else. But you gotta hang out feeders for those guys. Look at this. What do you think? This uh, succulent tree is... There's the flowers right there. Looks, uh, it looks almost anacardiaceous, huh? I could be totally wrong, though. Look, he's back. He just came back to his little perch. Look, he got the mistletoe in there, too. Looks like a true foradendron. Santalalis is the order on it. Should I ask him if he's been to Jewel Osco? Excuse me! Have you been to Jewel Osco before? Have you? I don't think he's been there. I don't think they got him down here. Shit, it's hot. Holy shit, it's hot. I'm sweating my ass off. Got kind of a soul riff there. Look, see what I said? Those flowers are starting to, they're, they're red. Here's an orange one. But then uh, because of the hummingbird pollination probably, you're getting red too. Those are all red. That could not be misconstrued as orange. Other thing I forgot to mention about the consolia. You got bees pollinating in them too. But uh, other thing I forgot to mention is that the, the dioecious, plants of dioecious, or sub -dioecious. This is a male. You can see all those pollen grains everywhere. Stigma's not very prominent, okay? But if you do get a pistillate flower, a female flower, you'll still have those uh, stamens in there, but they, they'll be uh, sterile. There won't be any pollen come off of them. You won't even see any anthers. They just kind of curl inward. Pretty interesting, huh? Look, the Hulk with HPV. How many times am I, how many times am I going to say that? Oh, look at this guy. Look, he's got nascent buds. And they kind of stink. They, they smell kind of pungent, kind of volatiles. Like they got those uh, oil glands in them. You know, but again, no, uh, the flowers aren't ready yet. No fruits. Hard to tell. It's got a woody trunk. Nice woody trunk. Ooh. And then you got your plum plumeria, of course. Again, with the bullhorn fruits. You and the fucking bullhorn fruits. Huh? You dick. Oh yeah, this this guy smells like a xanthoxylum for sure. Or certainly a rutaceae. Pellucid oil glands, you can see them in the leaves. Especially when the light's shining through them. See those little white dots? There's the fruits, crush them, they stink. I mean, I think they smell good. They smell pretty good, I think they smell pretty good. Bark kind of indistinct, like a ficus. My fucking leg is still killing me from those goddamn wasps. I can't believe it. Oh, look at the beautiful butterflies and shit flying around. Everything's so nice here. If you ignore the heat, that yeah, the heat's fine. Just got to put on some short shorts, huh, fuck face? Yeah, that succulent tree was just burst for a simaruba. I'm a jackass. Look, you can see all the fruits. All the little berries up there. Oh, yeah. Look, they had a nice wash out here. I wonder what that looked like when it was going on. Probably pretty good. Oh, 
matter. You get a, you get a cat down here, just bulldoze it all. Looks looks nice. You can drive right through to you get the quattro e quattro. Plastic trash everywhere. Yeah, it's what makes the world go around these days. You know, this isn't even that bad. I've been in some places, it's just mountains of garbage. You ever see that video? I think it was in Guatemala or some, maybe it was Colombia, but there was like a, there was, they had a flash flood and it was just washing this, this huge torrent of uh, plastic shit. This is actually mostly, well, there's plastic in there. There's a lot of glass, but I think they burned all the plastic off. But it's washing this huge torrent of, oh, ah, fuck, this like fumes. It just smells like it's still smoldering. But this huge torrent of just plastic shit just flying down. Some of these fucking companies should be liable for that shit. Find an alternative for fuck's sake. God, it's nasty as hell.